Parks. Oh, what the call. I, I think Tyler got his feet taken I up. I think you're right exactly right. Yeah. He spun out because I heard yeah. skid. <laughs> I think. Be a rash in the morning. <laughs> Good old floor burn. 75 39, a minute 13 to go. The Wildcats get it into Mullins. Mullins across the timeline with it. Gets it to Fleming. Fleming. Hands it off to Hubbard over here, right side to Vanover. Vanover back to Mullins. Back to Fleming. Fleming right side to Phillips. Phillips works it back out. 45 seconds. Phillips drives down. Oh. Shot blocked away by Hackney. A foul be called on Jamie. Like you mentioned earlier, I mean, panel with a great job with the win, low scoring game against Clintwood and Powell Valley, but Gage said he just was not going to allow that. No, oh, no. They, they just came out in tough, tough defensive pressure and just forced turnover after turnover, and they hit the ground running. Yeah, Phillips misses the free throw. He'll have his second, which is good. 75 and 40. Technical Tech. foul. On? On Gate City, I guess. No. McMurray? Yeah, it was on Marshall McMurray. They say he threw his elbow. I guess. But he went to the bench, saw what he done. Fleming free throw, no good. Fleming. Makes the second. 75 41. 40 seconds to play. Play on Spice. <laughs> Phillips. It's it into Hubbard, now to Fleming. Fleming. Ball on the floor. Ball four parts comes up with it, and he'll be fouled. Yeah, they could have probably called two or three fouls huh. there before they finally had to call one. They had to call one, didn't they? Number 21. 75-41, Devils lead. It's not been that close. No. So 34 And it now. could be just ugly. Yeah. I mean, it's ugly now, but it could be obscene. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Parks free throw, no good. Rebound two, Wildcats fight for it. That's a wall. Well, we might have got away with a little, little slight foul there. Mm. Gate City's basketball, 20 seconds to go. Parks will bring it across the timeline. Head over in the corner to Woods. Woods throws it away. Uh, see, thank God, I, everybody we play is Powell Valley. I wonder why <laughs> I, I always think about them for some reason, don't I? Dustin shot up good, Dustin Fleming. That'll do it. 75-43 here will be the final score as Gate City wins the LPD Tournament Championship. And we'll be back to give you the final scoring more after this. Once again, we'd like to introduce the principal of John A. Burton High School, Mr. Scott Key. The athletic director at John A. Burton High School, Mr. Stan Wilson. Representing Norton Press Incorporated and the Coalfield Progress, the president, Mr. Michael Tate. First, we would like to award regular season co champion trophies. Our first trophy goes to co champion Powell Valley.
champions of this year's Lone Supply District Tournament, the Gates City Blue Devils. Two, Michael Rogers four, Nate Clark with eight, Tyler Parks with three, Josh Kilgore with ten, Mark Step with six, Jamie Hackney with six, Will Humphreys with seven, and Jesse McMurray tonight scores 28 points, 22 of those coming in the first half. He had eight threes, and during those eight threes, Jesse sets the record for most threes in state. The Virginia State basketball competition, that's all classifications in a single season. So congratulations to Jesse on the individual award. And just like we said a while ago, I, I think without a doubt, Jesse thinks the team awards are much better than his personal awards. And that's just the kind of kid he is. So congratulations to the Blue Devils on the uh, regular season LPD championship, the tournament championship. And now it's off to the real time next yeah. year. Yeah, I mean, it's next Thursday. You win or you're done. Yeah, whole well, well, new bunch of players. Next year, or next year, next week is do or die. You, like you said, you win, the girls win Monday, are they done? Uh, the boys win Thursday or they're done, it's that simple. The only way you're, the only way you can have one more loss if you play in the region championship game. That's the only way, so. You got to get there. So, radio Monday night from Clintwood, Thursday. Boys from Clintwood on the radio, and hopefully girls Wednesday from Clintwood on the radio. Excellent. We'll be there, like I said. It cost me $100 to get in here. <laughs> it cost Gate City TV a lot of, a uh, little more money. We're doing what yeah. we can to bring these to you. But it's an expensive deal, it really is. The, the, the charges uh, are, are, well, we won't get into that, but it's just too much. Yes, it's, it's, it is. It really is too much. Uh, and this, in my point of view, this is a public service. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, with public schools. Right. <laughs> uh, but that's about as far but, as I'm yeah, going to go. I was going to say, better be careful. Spending since, the yeah. public's money. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, uh, we'll get But I appreciate Gage City High School for all the help they give with the production of the TV and the help they give the radio station, and especially for these players. Gage City girls come up one point short tonight. The boys win 75-43. This is Mike Long. Good night from North. Gate City High School would like to thank the following sponsors for bringing you the winter sports games for this year. Without the generous support of our sponsors, GCTV would not have been able to tape and replay the boys and girls basketball games. We would like to thank Fireway Ford Volkswagen, Farm Bureau Insurance, State Line Graphics, New People's Bank, the town of Gate City, Guardian Brothers Chevrolet, Scott County Long Distance, Delegate Terry Kilgore, Weber City Drug Center and Carter Trent Scott County Funeral Home. Following this broadcast, stay tuned 
for a special on Mark Williams signing football scholarship with the University of Virginia at Wise. Thank you. Good night.